Hey foodies, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my gadget kitchen. Um, I'm not in the kitchen right now. I'm just uh, chilling on the couch, but I just wanted to talk to you about what I did today. I had a little air fryer challenge. Um, I recently purchased a Philips air fryer XL. So that prompted this video. Philips is supposed to be number one in air frying, the best of the best. Um, they haven't really been on my radar because I just feel like they are overpriced. They're small and they're expensive. Um, I have a Philips pasta maker and that works really great. So I, you know, they make good products, but I think that's the only, I think that's the only Philips item I have. Um, but I mean, the price tag on their air fryers is just like, I don't know. The one that I bought. Like I said, it's the XL. It's their biggest one. And it's not even that big because my other air fryers are bigger. But it's $300. $300. So is this like a magic air fryer? Because there are air fryers that are like, my air fryers that I have that work really well, they're like $200 cheaper. So I just need to know what's so magical about these Philip air fryers that's got everybody going crazy and dropping all these coins. So today I did some chicken wings. I didn't bread them. I just seasoned them and I put them in the air fryers, no oil. And so I set the air fryers to 400 degrees. The Breville, I mean, the Philips only goes to 390. So that was the max temp. So basically I put the air fryers at the max temp. So um, the Cook's Essentials and the Power XL, their max temp is 400. Philips is 390. The Breville goes up to like 480, but we're not, <laughs> I wasn't even going to go that high, but um, I was doing 400. But disclaimer, the Breville is an oven. It's not an air fryer. It's an oven that air fries. So because of its capacity, it's so much uh, more larger than the other ones, the air there's more area where the um, hot air needs to circulate. So it actually takes, food takes a little longer to cook in the Breville. So when I do air fry in my Breville, I always increase the temp to about 415, 425. So, but to keep it just 400 across the board, I just cooked at 400, but I wasn't really expecting like spectacular results because I already know how the Breville performs. So there's my disclaimer on that. And so I think that's it. So let's see what happened today. Okay, first things first, let's season this chicken. It's just a mustard rub with some granulated garlic, granulated onion, seasoned salt, uh, cayenne pepper, and some freshly ground black pepper. I put the wings in a Ziploc bag and popped them in the fridge until I was ready to cook them. Here's my easy peasy cleanup. Alright, first up in the challenge is the Philips Air Fryer XL. After 10 minutes, the chicken is already looking really nice and golden brown. I definitely wasn't a fan of all of this smoke. Three minutes after turning over the chicken, it was done. Crispy chicken wings in 13 minutes. Nice color, super juicy and flavorful. Up next is the Breville Smart Oven Air. I'm using a Copper Chef pan that I heated up in the oven. I prefer to use this when I'm doing small amounts of food just for easier cleanup. Ten minutes later, this chicken looks nothing like the chicken in the Philips, but that's what I expected. Seventeen minutes later, it looks brown enough to go ahead and flip over. After 20 minutes, it's time to check the temperature to see if it's done. 
the chicken is done it just doesn't have the color as the Phillips uh, the one side looks great but the other side uh, not so much it's still juicy and delicious but only crispy on one side next up power air fryer XL Ten minutes later, the chicken is nice and golden brown, just like the Phillips. These wings were also done three minutes after I flipped them, so a total cook time of 13 minutes for the power wings as well. They have beautiful color and they are also crispy and juicy. Last but not least, it's the Cook's Essentials. After 10 minutes, we've got some golden brown wings. And just like the Phillips and the Power, these wings were done in 13 minutes. Beautiful color, nice and crispy on the outside and juicy on the inside. So who's the winner? They all are. All of these wings cooked exactly the same. The only slight difference was the Breville, but I already knew that from the beginning because I knew 400 wasn't going to be high enough. Had I cooked it at the temperature that I know would work, which would be 415, 425, all of the wings would have looked exactly the same. So, is the Phillips really worth $300? Well, the rapid air technology in the Philips air fryers is what sets them apart. The base of their air fryers have a star shape and this is supposed to circulate the heat around your food better, cooking your food more efficiently. I will say that the Philips is a beautiful air fryer. Um, the touch screen is really nice and I actually like the beeping sounds it makes. It's not as annoying as some other air fryers. I did some great eggs in here and other people mentioned that their eggs flew all over the place and it didn't work. I did a nice grilled cheese and I had people tell me that their bread was flying off and it didn't work for them. And I was also able to dump a whole bag of waffle fries and get a nice crispy texture. So based off of that, I will say that the Philips absolutely does cook differently, um, but I don't know if it's enough to make it worth the $300. At the end of the day, I'm going to keep it because I like it, but yeah, other air fryers work just as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful. As always, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and remember, get out of that drive-thru and get into the kitchen. Bye!